Turtle's only a model. Maria's name may mean dream, but she's definitely for real. All 600 tons of her. Well, that's her maximum takeoff weight anyway, and it's more than half as much again as a big 747. Most of that weight is taken on these main wheels. Seven pairs on each side, 28 in all, plus the four nose wheels. The man looking pretty pleased with himself here is the Antonov chief designer, Piotr Balabuyov. And this is not the Antonov stand in one of the exhibition halls, it's the belly of Maria. It's 140 feet long, easily long enough to fit a stretched Hercules fuselage inside. looks as if it would be good for a reasonable sized party as well. No sign of the glass cockpit though, which is interesting because first flight was only two years ago and Western aircraft of comparable age are nearly all TV screen instrumentation rather than these sorts of conventional dials. But of course everybody wants to see Maria. As the six Lotharov D18T turbofans wind up, they're each producing more than 51,000 pounds of static thrust. That's about the same as for a 747 engine, but of course there are only four of those. The outer engines are kicking up the dust because they're well over the grass, despite the Fandra runway's 150-foot width. That wingspan is nearly 290 feet. That would just fit along the length of the pitch at Wembley, but since Muir is 273 feet long, she'd overlap the width at Wembley by 50 feet. Those lumps on top are where the mounting frames would fit for carrying a spacecraft, whether British, Soviet or American, or whoever. And that's also the reason for the twin tail fins, so they don't get in the way. As she tips down on final approach, you can see the more than two-thirds span of the slats on the leading edge. Antonov say that with the maximum payload she needs a runway length of more than 11,000 feet. No problems today when she's virtually empty. A nice kick off of the drift at the last minute and Maria settles back onto the runway. But not for long though, there she goes again, test pilot Alexander Galinenko clearly enjoying himself.